Maddie Angel. How's my Maddie Angel? Oh, I hear your brother. Good girl. He's my perfect girl. That's my mommy. Even further from perfect is Didi. Milton, you want to sit? Sit. Milton. Milton, sit. Oh. Morning, guys. I am up and Adam, and I am not walking today. I'm taking a break from walking. I am nowhere near collecting the 50 miles that I'm supposed to have done for the July challenge on the Nike Run app, but like, that's okay. What, we got like 10 days left? I believe in myself, but today I am so excited to be able to weight lift. I haven't lifted weights in a couple weeks at this point, and it really has become, I'm not gonna say one of my favorite things to do because that's a lie, but it really has become something that I look forward to improving at and that I just know needs to be done. But before we do that, we've got to zip fish shake. And today we are having this fruit punch. Absolutely. Fruit punch is a classic. I probably say that about fruit punch and pink lemonade every time I draw it, but it is just so true. I love it. Mm. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. awesome day to an awesome week to finishing out the month strong and to keep making ourselves proud. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh. It is so fruit punchy yet it is also tart like oh it's one of my favorites. Okay, everyone, that workout was a doozy. It was amazing. It was my typical upper body workout. Lots of biceps and triceps and shoulders, but then also I love to just integrate some lower body because I honestly, I don't ever see myself as the type of person that's doing a leg day, you know, a whole day dedicated to legs. So I do try to put in some lower body. So I did 100 squats in betwixt all of my upper body work. But what I'm feeling right now are uh, these cello wisps and these almonds. I'm just gonna sit down and enjoy these the same way I've been starting, you know, my meal prep for months at this point. So, okay guys, special delivery. I'm in my house minding my own business and I hear a horn honk outside of my front yard and I'm like, who is honking a horn in my driveway? And I go outside and it is no one other than one of my favorite people on the planet. This is my grandmother. I'm looking, I'm only showing her from the back cause you know, she still don't play with being on the internet and whatnot. But she said, I bought you some stuff so that when you're making your videos, you can be like, this is what my grandmother bought me. And I was like, oh, stop what you're doing. I'm gonna film this right now. So like, I this is- when you were a kid. Shel Silverstein, yes. I remember. Thank you. I have where the sidewalk ends, but oh, I don't no. know if I have that one. Not it's on. my grandmother. Pillows that have my name on them, you guys. Hello, Autumn, that, cause that's my name. Oh, this is perfect. This just fits right in with my motif. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you. That's what you bought me, Mom? Yes. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Yes, I'm either gonna use these or they're just gonna end up at the next yard sale. I'm keeping this, but you know, I'll find something to do with these. That's my grandmother, always thinking of us, like, 
This is literally what happens. They just drop stuff off at my house. I love my family. Thank you, Mama. So what I was telling oh you, gosh. what I was saying is that the law of attraction is, uh, it, it brings you whatever you think about or whatever you keep in your mind, okay? So it's important to not keep negative things in your mind. And it's important to frame or flip what you're thinking to the positive side, you know? Because for instance, you know, I'm great at saying I am affirmations like I am successful, I am important, I am productive. Yes. But you know Yes, but today what I almost started doing was just like saying what I'm not like I'm not lazy, I'm not unproductive, I'm not this, but it's just like no no no. Like because all the universe hears is lazy, unproductive, you know, like unfocused. It, it's whatever you keep your mind on, you know, and that's what it delivers to you, oh, yeah. you know? So I, it's the same thing by saying I am productive. That is the same thing as saying I am not unproductive, you know, exactly. but you see you're, fl you're flipping it to the positive yeah. way. Okay. Sounds like my advertising classes. Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. just how to frame yeah. stuff. You know, exactly. You're, you're, you're marketing you to your mind, you know? <laughs> Hey, surprise, surprise! What have you been in there doing? Why I, is it so bright over here? I know, right? Because I put up these lights oh on my vanity. Oh my goodness. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't call myself vain by any stretch of the imagination, but Ooh, I killed that. this and I look excellent in this light. I so to agree. I have you to agree with else. you agreeing with me. Mm, you are oh, so God. cute. Look at oh, you. I know. Y'all, between those vanity lights that I got set up in my room and these like lashes that my sister done like forced me into wearing, like I am living my best glam life now. Like you can't tell me nothing in these lashes. Okay, these are those magnetic lashes. I know you've seen them everywhere and like she recently got into them of course because my sister's into beauty and she like goat roped me into trying them out and I absolutely love them. The reason I don't wear fake lashes is because Glue causes me such anxiety and I can't deal with it. But these are the magnetic lashes where all you have to do is like put on the magnetic eyeliner and then you just stick the lashes to your face. Like, I am obsessed, I'm so excited. And of course, not only does she wear them, now she sells them. I will put a link in the description box below. Like, I actually bought these, you guys. Like, I'm a believer. Like, I'll tell you this, I am feeling myself right now. You know what I'm also feeling? Taco tray. Look at this. I could, oh my God, everybody, there's my husband. I could only dream to look as good as this taco tray does. Like, I right. pale in comparison to this beautiful taco tray. Like, woo, I'm excited. Okay, guys, you know why else I'm feeling myself? Because I just randomly, randomly decided to make my own Chipotle mayo. I was watching Delicious Miss Brown on Food Network. Comment down below. Do you watch the Food Network all day, every day like we do? And have you seen Delicious Miss Brown? But either way, she made up some quick mayo with just an egg yolk and olive oil. And I was like, wait a minute, is she using like a whisk? Can we just make mayo with like an egg and olive oil? So I just Googled a quick mayo recipe and I had, I already had all of, like I had all the ingredients. I already had olive oil, I already had an egg, I already had vinegar. That's all you need. And I was like, you know, we can't ever do that normal. So I'm just gonna randomly throw Chipotle pepper in there. Comment down below. Have you ever made homemade mayo? Uh, if not, it's really easy. Get you a stick blender, $7, you know? Okay guys, but like all that aside, like look at this delicious taco tray. Oh, we have that lettuce that my husband cut up for me. We have some sour cream. We have my homemade Chipotle mayo. What? That ground beef that I made, there's Diablo sauce on here today. Like they were actually sold out of the fire sauce the last time that I went to the store. And like, y'all know I love hot stuff, but like Diablo sauce is crazy hot. Like I literally took a taste and like started sweating. I was like, oh no, we gonna have to scale that back a little bit. Uh, but then we have the pork rinds and the guacamole and the, the Quest chips. I mean, this is just a classic. I'm so happy. I'm just gonna move some things around just so I can show y'all what this looks like to eat. But y'all know I am about to Throw down. 
I love the crunchiness of the lettuce. I love the warmth of the ground beef and then the creaminess of the cheese and the mayo and the sour cream and then the straight up heat from the Diablo and Tapatio sauce. Like, mmm. You can barely contain it. So the crunchiness from the lettuce. Mm -hmm. The straight up meat, okay? Yeah, from the ground beef. And then all the cheese and that delicious homemade mayo Ooh, that I just made. That's the number one, I think. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. Okay, everyone. Bye. I'm going to go eat this. There we go. Okay. So, how are you liking the taco tray? It is amazing, and uh, that El Diablo sauce, or that Diablo sauce is nuts. Like, this is my favorite taco tray <laughs> consumption position. Mm -hmm. You get to sit, and then when you put your knees up on the couch, you can create a wedge between your knee uh, and have it rest good. on your chest. You know what I'm saying? Wedge. See? You got the wedge right. Yeah, so like, I am a human taco tray, you know? Mmm. Paradise. Mm. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, taco tray is done, and I'm moving on to the cheese course because I'm fancy. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I'm having two sharp cheddar jack cheese sticks. These are amazing, but what I am really excited about is just this chocolate peanut butter keto bar. Like, A, I'm excited about it because I didn't have to cook anything and I don't have to prepare anything. B, like this thing is so good. Oh my gosh, look, I'm gonna open it right now just so y'all can see what it looks like. It is just like this little squat little <gasps> bar. Ooh. It's like, you it's know, like it's candy. very, yeah, it's so good. I'm just gonna take a bite. Mm. And literally, you guys, mm. that's the size bite that I take. Like, when I tell you, I when I tell you, I turn a keto bar into 25 bites. Like, mm, that is just how much I'm going to savor it. Exactly. Mm. That's me. It's so rich. A, you can afford to just take a bite that size. Mm -hmm. B, I don't want it to end. Do you want to try a bite? Yeah, let's go for yeah. it. Yeah. My cousin Kim tried it and she was like, it's a little bitter for me. But I was like, yes, it is a deep, rich cocoa taste. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Describe it to me. Mm. Like, it like floods your mouth. It's like a no-bake cookie. Is that, it's very... Is coconut or something? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm There is coconut. It is very fudgy. Tell. Was it a mounds or what's the... So the mounds with the dark chocolate mm -hmm. with the coconut. Yeah. Yeah, it is more of like a dark chocolate mm -hmm. taste, I guess. Oh, it is so good. But I, well, you know what I get most of it is the peanut butter. It's a chocolate peanut butter, and so I get a, I get Ooh, the peanut butter from it. Nice. Look how oh. we just had two different... Two different Experiences, guys. okay? Eating yeah, that keto bar. So, yeah, I am going to have my cheeses first, and then I save my keto bar for dessert dessert. Yes. But then also what I'm going to do, which I'm really sad, which, don't get me wrong, I'm happy, is I'm going to have a meal ender, and the meal nice. ender is going to clear the delicious nice. taste of, I try one of, those. of the keto bar out of my mouth, because that's what a meal ender does. It's, it, exactly. it's a signaling lozenge to let you know that, like, eating time is over. It's done. Ugh, okay. <laughs> Okay guys, so I am done eating uh, that keto bar uh, and I just miss it already, mm -hmm. you know? But in order to not miss it and to signal to my mind that my meal has say. ended, I'm going to have a signaling lozenge, a meal ender. The premise of the product is a behavioral tool that you can use when you're done eating to signal to your mind that your meal is over and that you can focus on something else. Because, you. you know, for me, it's difficult to, you know, when I'm done, all I want is more, you know? So I have to really clear the taste of whatever I'm eating out of my mouth so I can move on, you know? And I usually do that with chewing gum or something like that, but like, this is taking it on a different level and like taking a signaling lozenge. So there's chocolate mint and I have mocha here. I'm chewing with cinnamon and citrus. I'm gonna have one of the mocha ones because I've already had a chocolate mint. Well, since my taste buds are clear and I wanna try the best tasting one I think right now, let's go citrus. Always citrus, okay. Uh, so I'm opening the mocha one and if you look at it, wow. it's just, like I said, like it almost looks like a Tootsie little, Roll. It's a like little, a little chocolate little nugget. Like a little bean, you know? So the outside of it is rich and like, and desserty, mm -hmm. and then it turns to a like a minty, or I don't really know what this one's gonna taste wow, like, but it, 
morning. It, it turns right. into a taste that's going to clear your taste buds. So hopefully mine's not chocolate and brown. Yeah, hopefully yours is not brown. Oh. Oh. I'm not showing anybody. Show them. Okay, so mine is is chocolate coated. And mine's is lemon, like like a lime. Like a like a hard candy out mm -hmm. outside. Okay, let's try. It. I don't like it. No, don't chew it or crunch it. The purpose of a middle ender is to be savored. Okay, like a jawbreaker. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, like a lifesaver almost, yeah. except people. You ready? Mm -hmm. Lifesaver. First of all, I really do like the chocolate flavor on the outside of this. My chocolate layer. It's gone. It has now melted into a delicious, like espresso bean type flavor. Nice. I'm gonna say it's not really citrusy. It's like a really, really nice vanilla -y. I can't even describe it like. Okay. A birthday cake or something? Down the citrus. <laughs> That's what was under that. It's like a birthday cake. Like the green is more like a vanilla y kind of mm -hmm. fun little treat. Mm hmm. Then the citrus is back there, and oh yeah. Like, that was good. Yeah. Um, the citrus is like a nice punch in the back of my throat. I like it. I like it a lot. There's a numbing sensation somewhere in my yeah, mouth. No, I'm, thinking, I think, I'm thinking it's the citrus. Yeah, and so maybe it's supposed to like numb your taste buds. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, it says don't bite or chew your meal and they're allowing it to completely dissolve. Yeah, I think by crunching mine, I concentrated the numbing aspect oh, yeah, all on one side of my tongue. Yeah, you mean. And you guys, hey. Something to note, these aren't particularly keto. One piece is 15 calories, two grams of carbs. And like the third ingredient in here is sugar. Like these aren't keto, but it's saying that only being 15 calories, you can't, you know, exactly. you're not gonna overeat on them. But and if you're watching total carbs, watch out. Yes, and in theory, this is supposed to be the final thing. So exactly, 15 calories on top of something. Be snacked on. Well, that's awesome. Okay, so look, four flavors, chocolate mint, mocha, citrus, and cinnamon. Uh, they gave me a discount code, so you can use the code listed here for a discount. I also put a link in the description. If this is something that you think you'd be interested in, like, I mean, I really believe in the concept. Also, the first five people that email me, like if you want to try these, the first five people that email me at watchautumnketo at gmail.com mm -hmm. um, with like, you know, your name and your address, I'll get some of these, I'll get a sample of these in the mail. Like there are 25 lozenges in each of these bags. I'm not, yeah, there's a lot of them. yeah I'm not going to use all of these. So I would definitely love to give some of them away. So send me an email Woo. and I'll make sure you get some. But overall, these are like interesting products. I appreciate them. Fogged up. Mm, that's just because we're just so steamy. No, that's that's not it. It's clearly the weather. I mean, you uh, rag or something? Uh, no, I use my fingers. Is that bad? No, it's okay. Okay, <laughs> I'm supposed to use like a like a what is that thing called? A microfiber. Microfiber. I was gonna say terry cloth. <laughs> I was like, that's not it. Uh, we're getting it close. Yeah, so. I knew it was something. I knew Each it time. was not your finger. I'll tell it's you that. Okay. I have been working all afternoon. Well. Mm. Definitely took some time off, watch some chopped champions. Oh, yeah, yeah oh, that's well, you happening. Need to decompress. Yes, exactly. I need to decompress. Uh, so uh, I am just finishing the evening like I finish all evenings, which is Sprite Zero. That is how I end my evenings. Yes, it is. And I love it. And I don't see a period of time where I'm not going to be ending my evenings mm, like that. I don't so, either. yeah, so I'm going to have me a Sprite Zero watch some more Chop Champions, mm -hmm. play some games on my tablet, and call it a day. Overall, today has been amazing. I put on fake eyelashes. Yes. I did something totally new with my eyeshadow. If you didn't notice, that's okay, because that was the whole point. It was to be subtle, you know? Mm -hmm. Eyeshadow, subtle, eyelashes, anything but. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I, I randomly made my own Chipotle mayo that for the first know. time ever. That I did know. What? I had taco uh, that, tray, that me a little. which was epic. Taco tray was good. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, my keto bar was so delicious. And then I got a good amount of work done. Like that, all that's all a good day. Things. Yeah, you can't, you can't ask for anything more than that. So I am just going to chill out the rest of the day with my uh, Sprite and call it. Okay, everybody, thank you so much uh, for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make meal preps on Mondays, uh, what I eat Wednesday videos, and freestyle Friday videos. Mm -hmm. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Uh, bye.
you always gotta be extra. <laughs> just say bye when I say bye. You always gotta drag it out. <laughs> okay, let's make a thumbnail. Depth as a dimension. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? What are you doing? <laughs> Milton, sit down. Sit. Good boy. Maddie, lay down. Good girl. Good girl.